Hi everyone, I'm back with another oddly specific part of archery, covering a question which people have or will ask. And that question is, do you need to have a special archery glove to do archery? And can you use normal gloves to do archery? Now, archery gloves are honestly pretty cool. Uh, they're comfortable, they're very popular, perhaps the more natural way to do archery is to wear a glove apart from using your fingers um, and it is very practical in many ways. Uh, this tends to be less popular for target shooting. Uh, people who target shoot tend to use tabs but for those who are shooting the field or for hunting and so on may choose to use a bow glove instead and there are many different kinds of bow gloves. Uh, there are kinds which are only cover the fingertips, there are kinds like this one which cover most of the hand at least the fingers, um, and these are pretty comfortable. Uh, these are made from leather, they're pretty warm, flexible, um, and they fit very nicely on the fingers, as you can see. So while the body of the glove is made from a thin leather, the fingertips are actually reinforced. So either it's a double layer or extra thick uh, leather, so you get a nice cushion effect on the fingertips. Uh, I've had this for, for probably five years now, been using it on and off um, quite regularly for traditional shooting and there's almost no sign of it um, wearing out. These things will eventually wear out, no doubt about that, but a good glove will last a long time. It's extremely comfortable. But let's say you don't have one of these. Maybe you're buying a bow and you forgot to get one. Maybe you don't want to get one, you can't afford one. Or maybe you have one, but you just don't have it with you. And you just happen to have a set of regular gloves. So can you shoot normally with normal gloves instead of using one of these? So I'll be going to try. Uh, my glove today is this, you know, tr I guess heavy duty uh, outdoor glove. Um, you find these on the eBay or on wish.com for like, you know, 10 bucks or something. One of those uh, gloves with, um, you know, those knuckles which you can use to climb and punch people. I don't know. Um, <laughs> they're really cheap gloves, but uh, I thought I'd have a set of these just for fun to keep around just in case there's some really cold weather, which doesn't really happen in Australia, but, you know, gotta be prepared. So I've got this. I wear both gloves just to look even um, more tactical. <laughs> this is so uh, this is so wannabe like right but hey bear with me I'm doing this for science so uh, these gloves are perhaps a little excessive uh, you know people might have other gloves but I guess this is a pretty good benchmark so um, you know these are heavy-duty outdoor gloves you've got um, the, the tips are not actually reinforced they're made from a thinner leather actually because these are meant to be used on touch screen phones for some reason um, you've got nice palms but we're looking mostly at the fingertips so we're gonna try and shoot with this uh, set of gloves, and I'm right-handed, so I'll use this hand mostly, and we'll see how comfortable it is to shoot uh, with these gloves. My bow of choice today is the Mandarin Duck Phantom, because I haven't used it for a while, and we're also trying to complete that tactical look. So uh, let's fling a few arrows down at our target down here. Uh, I'm not a big fan of using gloves, like to complete gloves, so it feels a little weird, but we'll see if we can make this work. Um, and part of the reason is you kind of lose that tactile feedback. You want to feel the knock, you want to feel the string, so it feels kind of weird. But let's see how it feels on our first shot. Alright, I think I got this. Oh, it works fine. <laughs> alright, problem solved guys, video over. Um, no, that's fine actually. Um, that was actually not a problem at all. Uh, pretty cool shot actually. Um, surprised that it came out really nicely. Um, okay, let's do more. Let's, let's do a, a full set of arrows it rains uh, and we'll get a definite answer for our question if you can actually do this properly. Um, I mean I don't imagine there'd be any loss in accuracy any more than just using gloves in general so let's just keep on plonking on target. Oh crap yeah this is actually a pretty fast bow by the way. <laughs> this is a 35 pound Phantom. Uh, I'm launching um, kind of uh, heavier arrows but they really zoom out. Um, that's pretty fun. Holy crap, that's a nice bow. The reason why I'm doing repeated tests, I'm not going to try and wear the fingertips out. But I'm going to see if eventually I start feeling uncomfortable. Now, once you start working the gloves in, uh, you might feel a bit more sensitive on the, the fingertips. Oh, nice. Uh, this is going to be too perfectly. <laughs> um, yeah, I actually was a bit more skeptical to be honest, but uh, it actually works uh, fine.
Okay, so that's uh, what, 10 arrows or so, lost count. Uh, but from my initial test, um, okay, it works fine. Uh, yeah, uh, I, better than I thought. I would think that this would have a bit more sensitivity, but actually it was completely fine. Um, didn't really notice any difference in shooting, apart from the fact we've got a whole glove. So the hand feels a little bulkier, but otherwise the feeling of the string didn't really affect anything. Um, it felt the same way. Uh, so I'd say um, without any rigorous testing, it would be okay to shoot with a glove. And because I know somebody's going to ask, can you thumb draw with a normal glove? Let's find out. No, yeah, you could. Ooh, that's definitely not as comfortable. Um, because this particular glove does not have a particularly reinforced thumb, especially on the joint where you normally feel the string, that's going to hurt a bit more. Oh, yeah, that's really on that fingertip there. Um, and this is the problem I have with uh, leather um, tabs and leather rings in general. Some people really like them. Uh, I'm not a huge, huge fan just because you do feel, especially on somewhat higher draw weights, this is not like a 40 pound bow, it's fairly light, uh, but on a mid to high draw weights, you will feel that cut into your finger. So, uh, yeah, not very comfortable like this. Oh yeah, no, I feel that. I wouldn't do it too long. Um, you'll feel that, that pinch there. So uh, this particular glove, uh, not so much. Uh, with the fingers, yeah, you can get away with that. Um, should be okay. With the thumb, uh, no, let's not do that. I mean, if you had to, it's better than nothing, but eventually it will feel like nothing anyway. So yeah, I'd still rather use a proper thumb ring. So my overall conclusion is that if you really had to use regular gloves to shoot at least Mediterranean style with your fingers, then passable. Of course, it does depend on your glove. Um, definitely try to go for gloves with some padding or reinforcement on the fingertips. Obviously, if it's thinner leather or thinner material, then it's not going to be as smooth. It's not going to be as durable. The string will rub off against the leather very rapidly. You will find that even a normal bow glove with thick leather will have cracks and eventually split. So if your glove is particularly delicate, then it's not a particularly good choice. Um, so if you have like a fashionable thin leather glove, then you'll find yourself perhaps um, ruin it sooner rather than later. You probably don't want to use a glove that is too soft. Uh, I think if you do use one of those, then the string will bite more into the leather, which might make it a bit more difficult to get a clean release. Uh, thirdly, um, you want some mobility in your fingers. So you're using like heavy uh, biker gloves, um, that may be a little tough um, because there's less flexibility in the joints. You will need to be able to curl your fingers around the string and to relax them cleanly. Apart from that, um, if you have gloves like these or similar gloves that you can use for these purposes, then um, certainly they can work. I don't actually think it will hamper your shooting much, if at all. Um, like I said, it will most depend on the material and the kind of glove you have. Uh, but overall, I think it's fairly safe to say that you probably could shoot decently with a normal glove. Anyway, this is New Sensei. Hope you found this interesting and helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.